Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Greg Beck with Tucker Rocky Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we want to talk a little bit about changing your motorcycle tires. How do you order online and effectively get that tire on your motorcycle? Yeah, you know, tires are one of the most important things that we have on our bikes, duh. Next to brakes. Next to brakes. <laughs> I actually I kind of like them both. But um, sometimes it can be a little complex. How do you get the bike up in the air mm -hmm. to pull the wheels? If you're going to do it yourself, we talked about that a couple of episodes ago with the lifts. Torn big red jack. Yeah. If you order a tire online and take it to a local shop on your motorcycle, it's going to be extremely expensive to get that tire changed. You're going to lose all of the savings that you got from buying that tire online to begin with. Most local shops, if you buy the tire there, usually full MSRP, they'll go ahead and do the swap for free if you take your own wheels in. Um, if they have to do it, it's usually an hour of labor is what usually the book rate for changing a tire is, which could range anywhere from $60 to $120, depending on where you are in the country. Um, but a couple tricks or tips in order to get your tire off your motorcycle, your wheel off your motorcycle, and down to the shop would be using a jack and strapping it down properly, number one. Number two, read your owner's manual. Find out what it's gonna take in order to get that tire off. For this project, we're gonna need a motorcycle jack, a 12, 14, and 19 millimeter socket and wrenches, as well as Allen wrenches and lithium grease. Now, Greg, what would be a couple of the steps that most people would have to go through in order to swap a tire, uh, wheel out? Well, first of all, you have to have a nice flat place to do this. I would not do it in a, in a slanted driveway. And you wanna make sure you do it in a place that's secure because you might have your bike down for a day or two and you don't want it to be out in a patio with somebody who can, you know, go by and steal it. So start lining things up. First of all, line up what tires you're going to get. Then you're going to want to, uh, where you're going to get them actually changed. And then you're going to start laying out your tools that you're going to need to do this job. Now sometimes owner's manuals are going to pretty much tell you which tools you're going to need. But make sure that you have them all. It's a real pain in the butt to get halfway through this and then have to go to the store to get a tool. It sucks. So then, you may be tempted to change the tire size from what you have. Mm. I strongly suggest you do not. You can really put yourself in a big hurt, financially or physically, if you choose the wrong tire, especially in the back. You know, you get that big ass tire and you're, oh my God, that's gonna be so cool. You take it home, you put it on your bike, the belt hits it. Not good. Or it hits the friend or, or the friend. Or, or, or just, just won't fit. So, Stock size is probably the best. So usually how this works is you get the bike up in the air, you break the axle nut loose, remove it, uh, you then make sure that the brake caliper is out of the way because usually the brake caliper sits inside of the, uh, or is narrower in that space between the frame and the brake caliper than your wheel is wide. So you usually have to remove that so you have enough room, slide your axle tube out, drop the wheel down and it's pretty much that simple. Let me inject. Sometimes when you're trying to undo that nut, the wheel spins. Have your buddy hold on the rear brake pedal. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have a buddy, some of us don't have buddies, <laughs> put the bike in gear. That will assist you in keeping the wheel located so the nut will spin without the wheel. Now one thing I want to strongly suggest, every time you change your tire, take a look at your brake pads. If they're more than half worn, go ahead and put new brake pads in because then you know that you're going to be good until your next tire change. While we're talking about brake pads, brake pad material doesn't have to be all gone away before the brake pad is no good. Mm -hmm. when, when they start to get thin, heat transfers more, they become less effective. Do not try to get another ride as it's kind of silly. Also, now that you're going to change your wheels, it's a good time to think about, hmm, remember that ride-on thing we did? Mm -hmm. Ride-on is a nice product to put in your new tire to prevent flats and to balance your rim. Remember that, it's a good time to do it. There it is. Yeah. Good luck with your tire purchase and your tire change. If you're here in the Bay Area of California, I would recommend that you go to MotoWorks here in Livermore. They will swap your tire onto your rim for 20 bucks. One more thing. When you go to go ride on your motorcycle with brand new tires, be careful. Now some people say, well, there's mold release on there. Old wife tales, there's no such thing as mold release anymore. But there is a chemical reaction that makes the, the rubber slipper that when you get it going and you get a little friction on it, it goes away. 
get a little friction on it before you start you know dragging your pipes mm -hmm. scrub those tires in yeah thank you for watching this tire change tip wednesday with greg and ride safe <laughs>